Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. So, yeah, we can reach those, but I actually think it would be better if this floor were raised ever so slightly. Now, I'd like to be able to see the edges on there. So what I'm thinking is we do a line of half slabs down here. And then we do full blocks for three blocks in the middle. We do a line of half slabs down there. And then we have the chiseled sandstone and we start, re basically it's going to be the mirror image is going to go back over that side. Because uh, there's five blocks wide that we've got in the middle for this thing. I am also thinking, Sen. Yeah. That the center block all the way down through, we could do that with um, these with crafting tables okay well because oh, so that we can yeah like whenever we're pulling stuff out of storage if we want to just very quickly put something together if we're running really low on something mm -hmm. we could very easily um make something yeah now i'll just show you very quickly and you can have a look and then so we want cut sandstone slabs right there uh, we've got regular cut sandstone there, chiseled, uh, what else we got? okay, we can ignore the rest of that. Right, so the surface of the block here won't make any difference. So I was thinking that we do half slabs like that, because that's going to... Then we're one block higher over here. So, I mean, if we also we could do it. Uh, do you need these? Doesn't matter. They're gone. Right. We put that one down there. And then do a cut sandstone block there. Right. I so... can't remember where the other steps are again. Oh, oh right. they under... No. Under the redstone block. No. Uh, Where are they? No, you've you've that's it. Three oh. line is three lines of steps. I need to do that one on the end, but I couldn't get the angle. Oh hang on, I can do it from this side hopefully. Yeah, it should be able to. There we go. Right. I don't think we need to have the chiseled sandstone if we don't want to down through there. So this is basically what I'm thinking for the floor down through here, Sen. Through the, this is going to be the middle of the corridor. Yeah. And we can run that down through, which means then the we've got one chest down at ground level. The back of that sandstone stair right in front of us is going to be the uh, glow item frame that will tell us what is in that chest underneath it. And then up above, we've got the same thing. So if we're up here, we're only having to reach up a little bit. We can get into that chest and we should be able to more easily see the item frame that is above the chest as well. Yeah. So it'll make life a little bit easier for us. And then I was thinking that we could have a line of crafting benches right down through the middle in the floor. And just a, okay. just a complete line of crafting benches all the way down through. And those will be buried into the floor. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it could be smooth stone, um, like the, the cut sandstone here, or the chiseled sandstone. I don't think it matters. It could be either one because um, it's a, a smooth texture. And it's only really the top of the texture that we're looking at. Uh, just like that. Yeah. And I think the... Having the half slabs on each side just helps to break things up a little bit. We could have, if we were to remove these, we could just put half slabs on each side and then have the line of crafting benches down through as the only block that sticks up a bit. Um. I don't know what you think of that. If I dig out a little bit down this end, we can do an example of it, and you can see it. Break. Right, let me... There, that one will go there, and then you'll have a full slab in the middle. Uh, 
and then a half slab there as well. So it'd be like that. Hang on. Because running down the line of crafting benches that will be in the middle, you would still be able to reach the chest. Can you not make some crafting benches? Oh, what? To... Tables. So we can have a look at them. Yeah. yeah. There's some wood here somewhere. There, there's some. Can make three. Yeah, I'll do. me just remove those a minute and those there and then okay weirdly half slabs don't insta mine so you're thinking I don't know why aren't you thinking well, we, like, which that option... That's a bit weird. What, just the, the crafting bench is stuck up like that? Yeah, try one with... Leave one as a half slab. Oh. I was going to say, try one like that. One mm. as a plain block and one as stairs. Um, what do you think? Thinking stairs. Yeah. Let me uh, take those out. Stairs down there. Stairs down the other side. Let me um, dig those out. All right, have you got stairs? Yep. Yeah, I think stairs. Okay. But it's cleaner. Yeah. All right, we'll do it like that then. Um, okay. So we can use uh, cut sandstone slabs down the edges. So we've already got some cut sandstone anyway, so we can just turn those into slabs. Yeah. Uh, it's just needing a bit of wood to make the crafting benches. Because I thought the crafting benches would be quite useful. Yeah. All the way down through, because even though we have got this massive storage system, we'll still occasionally want to be able to make something. Instead of having to run around looking for the crafting bench, there'll be a crafting bench anywhere we are in the storage system. Yeah. I figured it might just sort of end up being a little bit better. Have you picked up... Oh, right, hang on. Uh, cut sandstone there. There isn't any of that one. No. And uh, there's some slabs. What's that? Oh, that's uh, regular sandstone. Um, yeah, for the stairs, you'll have to keep smelting, won't you? Yeah. The smooth ones. I need I'll... to get. Uh, probably, we're going to end up needing to get more sandstone, don't we? Um, possibly, yeah. Although, actually, I don't know. Um, there, that one, that one, that one, that one. There's some slabs for you. And there is. That's all the rest that I've got for slab. I'll put them into the shulker box just here. Right, okay. So, is is it, am I just carrying on the floor like it is? It's not going down a level. No, if we have it like that, because if you look back this end, you see this block here, we'll eventually, we, we can move these shulker boxes and this block I'm standing on needs to be a crafting bench as well. But if you're standing on that, mm. it's, you then, it's much easier to reach the top chest. Right, okay. Um, and so I'd, we definitely don't want to dig it down any lower because you also got to be able to see the sign above that top chest. Yeah. Um, if any, the uh, if anything, we would build this up a little bit higher. But okay. I think it would look a little bit weird if we go any higher than this. Yep. So I think if we stick with this, uh, then the only thing that we got to do after that is decide on lighting. And at the moment, I'm thinking just standard glowstone blocks. Yeah. But as we're going to be doing the temple after this, um, and we're going to build a guardian farm, we could actually use prismarine lamps. Oh, yeah. No, they're normally associated with water, but I think they could look quite cool in this desert theme as well. 
Yeah. Uh, rather than just the plain glowstone. Um, and we'll do chains suspended from the ceiling all the way down and then hanging the the lamps on them. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I mean, we could try building some kind of chandelier effect as well. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how we would do that. And hopefully that will then get us enough light level all the way down to here to stop anything from spawning. But, I mean, for now we can dump torches down here or something. Yeah. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Right. What have I got? I'm going to get some more materials and I will carry on with this. So we are going to do a bit more work on this and we'll see you in a minute. Well, this might not be the place that uh, you've seen me last. What I've been doing is a little bit of AFK over here at the witch farm. Now, Sen is or has been online for the last couple of hours. So. There aren't many witches over here. There are a few, though. We do get a few of them every now and then. You get, like, a slug of them. It does depend what Sen is doing and where she is exactly. If she goes into the nether, I'll get a whole load of witches suddenly turn up. Um, and there's a few other things that will cause a load of witches to turn up as well. But generally speaking, it does work pretty well. Uh, that is new. That right there, having those sort of uh, spin out round in a circle. Where are you at the moment, anyway, Sen? Uh, I'm back in the storage room, just filling up a sugar box of chests. Right, okay. So we've done a little bit of work with the storage room, and I'm just going to settle down there, and then I'm going to go into here, here, and turn that one on. That's better, so now we can actually hear stuff. Uh, because I did an AFK overnight. I've actually done that a couple of times to get a little bit more in a way of materials from our witch farm. Because we're using quite a lot of them. Hey, witch, I'm here. Come get me. That last one. Into an evil chuckle. The final witch. Right. And... No, I don't want to drop down there. I want to go down into here. So we've got a little bit of gunpowder in here. We've got uh, two and a bit chests in there. We haven't taken any sugar out of here. So we've got uh, three, four, four and a bit double chests full of sugar. We've got the same with glass bottles. Same with the spider eyes up there. Sticks, we should have double the amount of sticks. So all of those are full, plus we've got two over this side. I've already taken a load of sticks out of here, and we'll take more sticks out of here as well at some point. We don't need to right now. We've got masses of sticks that we're using. Um, I, We do still get the occasional odd item coming through into the glowstone box. None of the others, just the glowstone one. So if I look at the back over there and look in that one, right, that one doesn't have anything odd in it. And we've got a few bits of glowstone in there. So I'm going to dump that into this chest here and then just let that sort of filter in through. We're not quite sure. Well, I'm, I'm not. I've, I've looked and looked. I think the reason we get odd items coming into. Ooh, very nice. We've got a chest full of redstone here. That's actually really, really good. We, we've got a decent quantity of the stuff in here. I want to get rid of the sticks. And I'll just also dump out any of the rest of it. We don't want any... We don't need any gunpowder and stuff at the moment. Sugar, we will do something with that. We're going to be doing stuff with cakes and things. Cakes can be used to guide um, items in water streams. They're just the right size for doing that. So we'll probably be using, uh, making a few cakes for doing stuff like that at some point. Uh, right now, what I wanted to do was if I just put that one back and I put my blocks of iron away and pick that one up, I'm going to very quickly gather up all of the redstone here and take that back because we kind of need this. And then I can show you a little bit of a progress update. Just the last few, right there i'll turn them into blocks as well like that and like that so we've got a few redstone blocks there we're going to be using those for our build we've done a little bit of work between us haven't we sen 
Just a little. Yeah, a little, little tiny bit of work on the sorting system that we want to show you. And there's a few other things that have been happening as well. Sen has been doing some more work on building tunnels in the nether that we will eventually go through and fully decorate. We have plans for that. But she got bored with doing that, didn't you, Sen? So what else did you go and do? Um, I went on the hunt for some um, ancient debris. Did you happen to find any? Just a little. I was incredibly lucky. I thought I'd try a new um, area. Mm. And so I thought, oh, a crimson forest might be, you know, good. Um, and then it went into sort of, there was loads of soul sand and um, it seemed to work out quite well. Oh, I Because I got, um, what, 17 in an hour, hour and a half? Yeah. Which is a lot better than we did before. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more than previously. Have we got a bed up? We don't have a bed up here in the, the top, in the, the normal house bit now. No, no, no. What? I wanted to sleep because I'm getting attacked. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we've got... Uh, Sen has found some ancient debris on a couple of runs. We've got a little bit of stuff that has uh, been removed out of here. Ooh, now I've got ancient debris. Um, a little bit of stuff that's been removed out of here. We took all of this out. And we've gone and moved it. Sen has built a beacon in here, which has got the base it's got four items so i'm just going to go and show that one actually i'll tell you what let me go and put the ancient debris in a cooker a minute so we've got 29 pieces of ancient debris thanks to sen's hard work so we've got a blast furnace in here we'll dump that lot in and it will start going through so i'll just quickly put that one on oh no it wants to go that way so I'll take that netherite scrap, and the rest of the netherite scraps will gather up in there, and we'll, we'll get those in just a second. So Sen went and built us a pyramid in here. We want to go through to the corridor, the, the hallway in here. Uh, that one is built down in here. That was... You've been doing some work in here. This was... Have you lowered that down? Have you moved yeah, it? Yeah, I tidied it up. Yeah, when you say tidied it up, you've completely removed the pyramid and dropped it down several layers. No, I didn't. Oh, didn't you? No. I thought it was up where you were. No, I with. lowered this bit. Uh, yeah, I know you've, you, you've dug out that bit. No, this dug. was the same level. Ah, right. So we've now got a pyramid in here and... Uh, with, with the blocks of glass that goes all the way up through the mountain. We got we stuck one down the end over there. Or Sen stuck one down the end over there. That's just got a haste beacon on it for mining with so that uh, we could clear away the item sorter relatively quickly. So that's all gone now. We're going to do something else with this area. We're not quite sure what yet. We've been using a strip over there to get some spruce trees, lots and lots of spruce trees uh, to make chests because uh, for the item sorter build, we need one or two chests for that one. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. We want to have a look at this first. So we've still got nine we've got to wait for here. Let's just take 20 of them and we're going to have a look in here. Wait, I thought netherite scraps combined... How do you make netherite scraps? How do you make the bars? What have you done? It's not the upgrade gear. You you smelt it to make netherite scraps. But I thought you went on to the crafting table to then... Oh, wait a minute. Do you need diamonds, maybe? Have Is you that... got your piece of armor? No, no, no. The, 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 you've got to make. You've got to turn the netherite scraps into netherite ingots. Oh, that's why four netherite scraps and four gold ingots to make it. I forgot oh. that you had to have gold as well. So we got forty-four bars of gold right there, which we'll take, and then we got those nine netherite scraps there as well. So now, if we go to making everything that we can, we can make netherite ingots, which means that we can make seven of these. We've got one netherite scrap left over, which we will put into this chest right here, just for now. 
So it's in the middle chest in there, Sen, just in case we forget. And we've got seven items that we can go and make. Now, at the moment, we don't very often take our Elytra off. Um, you can't upgrade the Elytra. You can't go and put Netherite on it or anything like that. So as we very rarely use a chest plate, I think okay. if we just do our diamond boots and our helmets at the moment, so we'll do Sen's first, uh, which is the smithing table right here. So we put the diamond helmet on there, and then I put a bar in there, and that gives a netherite helmet that looks different, just on the, the thingy right there. Put the boots, we put that one in there, so we've got all of the stuff. So if you take these a second, and put them on, so that we can take a look and see what the, the new armor looks like. What's okay, that? the new helmet does actually look pretty cool. That looks quite a bit different than the, the standard one. There's our standard one, and there's Sen's one. It sort of it wraps around the head a lot more. That does actually look pretty cool. I think that... Well, hang, we, we, we'll do ours a minute. We'll do the diamond boots and the diamond helmet. Sen, don't go anywhere. I'm not. Uh, so we'll put that one on. There. We'll put that one on there like that. And I'll put these back on like this. So we got three netherite ingots left. Now, at the moment, we both have one diamond pickaxe. Uh, one netherite pickaxe. So we're going to allow ourselves another one each. Um, unless you want to have an axe, Sen, or a shovel. Well, I wouldn't recommend having a shovel at the moment. Or we could do the swords. So we, um, we could go with a, a more powerful sword, but I don't think it increases the attack damage. I think it's... I don't think it makes any difference to the attack damage. Um... I wonder if there's a way to... Pickaxe. Look. Considering how oh, much we're using. Right, attack damage does go up by one. It goes... Uh, instead of ten attack damage, you get eleven attack damage. And it's the same attack speed. So we could, if we wanted to increase the um attack damage of our swords uh it's up to you uh but personally i would like a pickaxe so i'm gonna um upgrade another one of my pickaxes so now i've got two pickaxes so you throw me an item and okay so you're gonna have a pickaxe as well just a standard uh silk touch pickaxe like that we've got one bar left so i would like you sen as you are the one who went and found all of this stuff and you do occasionally use it throw me your chest plate are you sure yep we do need someone to model a full set of netherite gear and as you're the one that went and found everything you you <laughs> I get the achievement for it. I, what, what is the what is the achievement? Um, oh, I can't mouse over it. You press L. Does that no, give achievement? No, you go to chat, like as if you're going to type, and yeah. then you can mouse over it. Ah, get a full suit of netherite armor. Oh, I see. So once I um, pass it to you. Um, on, right. Then. Try that one on. There you go. Sen's got it as well. And we have a full suit of netherite armor. There she is, in all her glory, in a full suit of netherite armor. With the shiny, that does actually look pretty cool. The only disappointing thing with this game, as far as I'm concerned at the moment, is the fact that you cannot um, put the Elytra... Like, combine it with the chest plate. There are mods you can get, actually. There's a mod that I was looking at, seriously um, looking at to get. And it basically adds an extra slot. So you can put a cloak in it, or you can put the Elytra in it, and it allows you to keep your four pieces of armor and have the Elytra as well. I oh, that really, would be really cool. Yeah, I would really like to see that in the base game. And I, I get that the Elytra is basically a trade-off between the extra movement or the extra armor that you get from the chest plate. But honestly, at this point, it kind of feels like um, 
I don't know. It, it, it The choice doesn't seem right anymore because Elytra is like just such a, a big part of the game. I would also like to see craftable Elytras rather than having to go and get them from the end. And I know I'm not alone in that. A lot of there are people who still think that Elytras are unbalanced and shouldn't even be in the game. Uh, I am not one of those people. I think that these are the single greatest thing. I spend so much time moving around. Just being able to do it with an Elytra opens this game up to so much more. The only real reason to not have an Elytra is kind of... It, it sort of feels like there are games that are made and you get DLCs and add-ons that involve a huge amount of running around in order for the DLC or add-on to, uh, like do anything so you like the, a massive amount of running around and it just sort of feels like that at this point like if we were to i just want to make sure this it oh it is switched off i was, I was gonna say our villager farm just want to make sure it's switched off it is switched off we've got we've just got lots of villagers over here um yeah uh, if we were to have a situation where the Elytra was just suddenly removed again or made infinitely more difficult to get. You're basically back to one of those DLC situations where you've just kind of got pointless running around in order to pad out content. It takes longer because it takes you longer to get from point A to point B. There's no point in doing that anymore. That, that, that That's just an, an empty gesture. So Having the Elytra just feels like it should be a little bit more of the base game. At least once you find one, maybe you can find a craftable recipe for it or something like that. That's that's kind of how I feel with Elytras right now. But anyway, let's not worry about that too much. This is what we've been doing. Now, there might be some time lapse that I've got. Uh, the footage... I'm not sure if I'll be able to edit together some time lapse, so if there is a bit of time lapse, uh, you can watch it now. our sorting system we're just going to free cam a minute and we'll take a look so we've got the main corridor that will come down through here where these torches are unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord to link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.